Hey, I'm Alex Lamb. Now when it comes to art, I think it's fair to say that majority of the people in the world, even though we have a very minimal understanding of art, we are able to appreciate good art. For example, the Mona Lisa is pretty cool, the Starry Night, and then some not so famous pieces we see on social media. Now art has many different types of genres. Uh, the mainstream stuff is easier to understand, but once we get into the wacky side of art, it can be really, really confusing. Sort of like the white canvas that sold for millions of dollars, or the banana taped to the wall. And on the forefront of wacky art is a genre called avant-garde. Avant-garde is a French word for vanguard or advanced guard. In English, it means people or works that are experimental, radical, or unorthodox with respect to art, culture, or society. It is frequently characterized by visual innovation and initial unacceptability. So when someone says they're an avant-garde critique, it can be questionable because how do you critique art that's experimental? It just doesn't make sense. And we should test these critiques and see if they really know what they're talking about. Well, lucky for us, a gentleman in the 1960s felt the same way and wanted to put these critiques to the test, to see if they could actually tell the difference between avant-garde modern art and the work of a chimpanzee. In February 1964, four paintings by an unknown avant-garde French artist named Pierre Brassel were exhibited at an art show in Gothenburg, Sweden. The show had works from many different artists who were from around the world, but it was the works by the French artists that attracted all the attention. Art critiques, journalists, and students were captivated by Brassel's creations. Their admiration was almost unanimous. Rolf Anderberg of Morning Post and later wrote that most of the works at the show were, I quote, ponderous, end quote, except for those of Brassel. I quote, Pierre Brassel paints with powerful strokes, but also with clear determination. His brushstrokes twist with furious fastness. Pierre is an artist who performs with the delicacy of a ballet dancer, end quote. Though one lone critic criticized Brassel's work, declaring, I quote, only an ape could have done this, end quote. And as it turns out, this critique was spot on. Pierre Brassel was in fact an ape. Specifically, he was a four-year-old West African chimpanzee named Peter from Sweden's Boras Zoo. Pierre Brassel was the invention of Akedake Axelsen, a journalist at the Gothenburg Tindigen of Gothenburg's daily papers. He came up with the idea of exhibiting the work of a monkey in an art show in a way of putting critiques to the test. Would they be able to tell the difference between modern art and monkey art. Axelson persuaded Peter's 17-year-old keeper to give the chimpanzee a brush and oil paints. In the beginning, Peter preferred eating the paints. He especially liked the tart flavor of cobalt blue, but eventually he started smearing paint on the canvases. And because of his taste preferences, cobalt blue featured heavily in his works. Another fun fact, when painting, Peter always had a bunch of bananas close by. The rate at which he ate them matched his level of creativity. It's reported that during periods of great inspiration, he would eat as many as 9 bananas in 10 minutes. After Peter had created a number of paintings, Axelson chose what he considered to be the four best and arranged for them to be exhibited at the art show in Christina Gallery. After Axelson revealed the hoax, Rolf Anderberg, the critique who had praised the work, insisted that Pierre's work was, I quote, still the best painting in the exhibition. End quote. A private collector bought one of Brassel's work for 80 bucks, which is about $800 in today's money. Then in 1969, Peter was transferred to the Chester Zoo in England, where he lived out the remainder of his life. The story seems very straightforward, but if we dive a little deeper, it can get really interesting. First, who do we give credits to for the paintings? Is it Peter the chimpanzee or Axelson the journalist? Technically, Peter the chimp created the painting, but it was Axelson's idea, right? I mean, think about it this way. A human decided upon the scheme, set up the blank canvases, then chose the colors and brushes, selected the chimp, set it to work, and then decided at exactly what point to stop the chimp painting. Personally, I think Axelson, the journalist, should get the credit, or, or even better, uh, if it was seen as a collaborative effort, right? So a 50-50. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. 
And second, if avant-garde art is experimental and unorthodox, then this is technically a legitimate entry into the exhibit. I'll leave those questions for you guys to have a think about. But before we end this video, I found this quiz called an artist or an ape. There's six images and you have to guess if it was created by an artist or an ape. And apparently some of these are actual masterpieces of abstract art. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, here's my answers by the way. Uh, I don't know much about art so these are my best guesses. I'm not going to submit the answer because it will obviously ruin the fun. Now I'll put the link in the description box below so go and take the quiz and let me know how you went. So that's the story of Pierre Brassel, the critically acclaimed chimpanzee. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. Also, be sure to check out my previous videos. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World. Peace. Woo! That was a good monkey.